What is up, you bowls of motherfucking ass pastrami? Ass pastrami. I'm McStud. Welcome to the motherfucking McStud show. It's Tuesday, Titty Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, Titty Taco, Titty Tainted Taco Tuesday. I don't give a fuck. It's some kind of Tuesday. <sighs> Gotta wear the uh, new McStud shirt. Oh, yeah. To work today. Thank you, Swifty. Mm, that's how we fucking roll on this bitch. Uh, it's been a hot day, so I'm gonna take the fucking head off. Woo! Hope y'all have a motherfucking good day. But first, a tasty beverage. Please. So stand by and I stick my king cobra into your mother's prostate gland. If your mother has a prostate, she is technically your father. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's fucking Tuesday. I had another nap today, which is nice. Um, if you want to make a bag full of chicken flavored noodles for dinner, that sounds pretty good. Something different than normal shit. Um, damn. Woo, some bitch. First, I, uh, rugby on YouTube, loves, enjoys my videos, and he commented on my last one saying I should be the, uh, malt liquor drinking community president. That sounds amazing, man, but, uh, <clears throat> a lot of the malt liquor drinking community disowned me because I didn't follow the, uh, malt liquor blueprint. Which is fine. I do shit my own way. Uh, a lot of a lot of those dudes, including yourself, still uh, do follow and enjoy my videos. But for the most part, I will never be the president of the malt liquor drinking community, and that's fine with me. I don't give a fuck. Um, but then, you know, off subject. Oh, also, I know you want some more drunken stories. Uh, not tonight. Maybe tomorrow, after my nap, my brain hasn't really worked the best. So, it took me a minute to think of some motherfucking topics tonight. But, do I have to burp? <coughs> oh, there it goes. Goddamn. I was just curious. Fellas. <coughs> Goddamn. Y'all ever been fucking a chick from behind and then she's like, oh yes, daddy. And then you're like, what the fuck? So you pull out and you get dressed, drive over to her motherfucking parents' house, and then uh, fuck her mom. Because if she's gonna call you daddy, then you're gonna fuck her mom like you are daddy. That's my way of thinking. So I think, yeah, that's that's how it should be. I'm gonna call the motherfucker daddy. Uh, do you really? Do you really want to get fucked by your daddy? Is that like a daddy kink? Like, you want to call a dude daddy because it reminds you of your daddy? First off, I don't like saying the word daddy as a man. I just think that's fucking weird. Um, Grown-ass men can call their dads dad, father, pops, old man. But daddy? Childish. <laughs> oh, but I am going to post on my Facebook... I haven't done this yet, but I'm thinking of a kind of a add a little extra segment to my my show. Uh, I'm thinking like some Dear Abby, some Ann Landers type shit, you know. But it's Ask McStud, you know, and people can submit their questions. Like YouTubers can comment some questions on the videos, or if you're on Facebook, just pop me a message. You know, I don't always get on Messenger, so if I don't respond or look at it right away. It's okay. Uh, no worries. For reference, I do have my messenger notification shut off. Sometimes it fucking works fucked up. I don't get a notification that I got a message for a couple days or longer. Or I won't know until I open the fucking app. So, um, that is what it is. You know, y'all can ask me your questions and I can give you the best mixed up answer possible. It could be about anything, really. Um... Shoot me those motherfucking questions and I'll give you the straight up honest response. That's what I do. <clears throat> Speaking of being honest, you know what's fucking annoying? 
And I've only really experienced this at a uh, Taco Bell, I believe. Yeah, it's only Taco Bell. You know, first off, when you get to the drive up window, it's really the drive through. I don't think it happens inside. Um, but you know, they, you can pull up to the window. It's like, Hey, how are you? And you're like, I'm good. And then there's a motherfucking awkward silence. And you're like, well, I don't know if usually they say order when you're ready, but not Taco Bell. They're just like, fuck it. And we'll make you think for a second. So you don't know if they're busy or if they're waiting for your order. So you just kind of have to sit there and you're like, fuck it all. You know, and you start your order. Then you like, say for instance, you're like, oh, I'll take a cheesy gordita crunch. Before you can even get oh, like an and um, for the next thing you want, they're like, okay, great. What else can I get you? Hold up, you pussy, pushy bitch. Not pussy, pushy. You know, you're like, okay, so then you tell the second item you want and then they they say the same shit i'm like what else can i get you why are you trying to push all this shit on me like i know what i want i don't need you to fucking like you're not making suggestions when you say this like, what else can i get you you know and then you finish your order and then they ask it again what else can i get you bitch that's my motherfucking order you're not gonna make me fucking order the whole goddamn menu fuck off i goddamn it i'll tell you what you can get me my fucking total and tell me to pull around to the fucking window you know that's what you can get me oh and some motherfucking sauce and not like two sauce packets for four fucking items you know i don't need to be rashing my fucking hot sauce because you want to be greedy with the shit like you think it comes out of your fucking paycheck so when i pay you and you take my car then you hand it back to me i'll be like okay great what else can i get you fuck that shit god damn what, what the fuck kind of customer service time but who, who the fuck came up with that policy at taco bell okay great what else can i get you that's not even a good selling point. Like, that's just being pushy about fucking food. Um, you're selling fucking food. You're not getting commission on it. And first off, how how off, how off successful is that? Like, oh, you, you know what? G go ahead and give me a number six. The fuck? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh. <sighs> Speaking of annoying, I had uh, someone follow me closely all the way to work today. End up working with the person. I know exactly who it is. And uh, if you watch this video, you know exactly who you are. You could have fucking passed me at any fucking time. But no. You chose just to stay behind me in a kind of a close distance. You weren't really tailgating, but you are closer than I would prefer you to be. You could have backed off like another 30, 20 feet, something like that. But nah, you stay right there. On the booty hole of my fucking vehicle. Um, just fucking pass. He had plenty of time to pass on both roads. Really. Uh, that was unnecessary. You know, next time I'll just, I'll slow down. Either you're gonna pass or you're gonna sit back there and go slow. I don't give a fuck either way. Um, and if you see this and you ask me about it, I'll tell you the exact same thing. You know, I, I don't fucking say shit that I won't say to someone's fucking face. You know, if it bothers you, ask me about it. It's all good. But I, I just say that I have a little bit of road rage. And when you fucking drive like that, that's fucking dumb. Really. You know, who the fuck gets up on someone's ass like that and then just fucking stays there. Fucking pass me. Fuck out of here with that shit. Um, and another annoying thing. You know that feeling you get when you're coming to like a door, like a store or something, a restaurant, anywhere. Like there's a door and there's someone in front of you and they open the door and you're coming up to the door. And instead of them holding it open for you, they just let it shut right before you fucking get there. Please eat my whole dick, you raggedy bitch. Seriously, that's fucking rude, first and foremost. And someone needs to teach you some fucking respect and manners. You know, I bet you won't talk with your fucking mouth full and my dick is all up in it. That's simply because it wouldn't fill your mouth. But still, I'll have you fucking saying please. Like, please, big stud, take your fist out of my ass and stop using me as a meat puppet. I can also teach you to say fucking thank you. You know, for instance, thank you, McStud, for stomping the shit out of me. I've been constipated for days. You know, I, I can even teach you to send someone off in a nice and fucking polite way. Have a nice day, McStud. Thanks again for dicking down my mother. The pleasure was all mine. No fuck stick. The pleasure was all mine, literally. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to go wash my fucking dick. I don't think your mom's washed that shit 
since like like nineteen fucking seventy two. Maybe maybe not even since Woodstock. Fuck. Like never clean that shit up. It's fucking nasty. Nasty ass snatch mother you got there. I bet when you all have like family get togethers and shit. You get there and you smell like something nasty. And you're like, who the fuck cooked that dish? Nah, they ain't a dish. That's your mom's fucking pussy. If she'd wash it before all these people come over, we wouldn't have to fucking suffer through the fucking smell and try to eat through it. You know, that's fucking disgusting. Tell her to wash that shit every once in a while. Give her some fucking uh, feminine wipes or something. Some fucking baby wipes. I don't give a fuck. Give her a goddamn bottle of fucking Windex and some paper towels. That's got to be better than nothing. For fuck's sake. I'll take her out back and give her the fucking water hose. That's better than nothing, too. Shit, wash that shit, everything. Or wash that fucker every once in a while. <laughs> oh, yeah, daddy. Daddy. Fuck that shit. Anyways, motherfuckers, that's all I got for tonight. <clears throat> but remember, ask McStud. If you got questions, I will answer them. Not about me, but about life. Like, about your shit. Whatever you got going on. Like, personal questions. Like, shit you want advice on. I'll give you the best McStudly advice possible. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm excited. I'll catch you later. Deuces. Oh, two dicks in your ass.